All right, this is part two. Dorothy also boat restoration, let's go. After adding a few things to lighten the place up a bit, I replaced the couch covers. After that, got started on the kitchen. Right, that's all we're going to get done for today. The sun is going down, but I'm going to try and chuck these bird spikes up before we run out of light. Stop all these birds shitting on my deck. Let's fucking, let's do it. After getting the spikes stuck in my pants, dropping one of the spikes and realising the zip ties are too small, I figured I'd bit leave it for another day and I went to watch the sunset. This morning I got the previous owner of the boat to pick up his stuff. Still a couple of things that he didn't want, so we can go through that and if any of it's worth keeping, we'll keep it. Otherwise, we'll chuck it. The main plan for this video is to get the water issues sorted out on this boat. The main issues are the condensation, which forms on the roof because there's water in the bilge and it all heats up in here. So we've got a dehumidifier, we're going to pump the bilges out and then we're also going to try and fix a couple of the leaks up on the deck to stop water getting in here. Okay, so that's the little dehumidifier I got, which is only a small one, but I'll get a bigger one down the track. That's all I've got for now. All of that water. Just from condensation, it's ridiculous. I found this canvas here, which I'm going to use to just cover up the sides around here. And then I'm rolling it up so that when it rains, I can roll it down and it'll stop water coming in sideways and getting the cockpit all wet. In the forward bilge here below the bathroom, there is a bilge pump which is connected up here. I'm going to take that off, being careful obviously that that is closed. And I will put it in the other bilges to get them all drained out. So before I move the bilge from here, I'm just going to hook it up to this wire and run that down to the battery so I can pump the water out of the front bilge. After checking I wired it up correctly, I taped them on and emptied the front bilge. All right, so we're gonna empty this bilge out here next. So we're gonna take that hatch off, try and pry it open, it's a bit warped.
I've realized the hose on the pump isn't long enough, so I'm gonna have to pump it into this bucket and then from that bucket, pour it down that hole there, which should go outside the boat. Alright, I've managed to get most of the water out. I'm going to get in there with the dustpan to scoop up the rest of that gucky stuff and get the rest of the water out of there. So gross down here. All just muck. Dead cockroaches. Who knows what that is. Right, well, I'm glad to get that over and done with because that was disgusting. Might get in there with a towel and dry it off and clean it properly, but nice. I think this is the last bilge that needs pumping. There's water in the bottom there. Now, this one next to it has a working pump down the bottom. So I'm going to pump the water from there into this one and then that will pump it out of the boat. Just using my foot to push that deeper into the water. And that's getting pumped over here. And then that's on an automatic pump. In the most of the water out of here as well it's a tiny bit down the bottom but I reckon that should be all right for now all right so that's those two bilges done now the one in here with the engine is on an automatic bilge pump so that's already dried up in there gonna be using some roof waterproofing uh, which you just paint over a little bit of cloth or I'm using fiberglass it's not a permanent fix, but it'll keep the deck dry or at least moisture getting in for a while until I can get a permanent fix when I redo the parts of the deck. So, paint some of that on the worst places. This is the first one here. Now I'm no Bob Ross, so don't expect my painting to be perfect, but she'll do the trick, hopefully.
All right, well, it's not a permanent fix, but that should keep the water from coming through at least for a couple of months. Um, and it's under cover here as well. So I'm not too worried about this section. Okay, so around the mast here is the main part that I wanted to waterproof up. Um, Cause I'm gonna have to probably dig all this out eventually in fiberglass around here. But for now, I'm just gonna slap some of this stuff over the top and that'll just stop it from getting worse and stop water from coming down inside the boat until I can properly fix it up. All right, well, the sun is once again setting, so we've run out of time. There are a couple more leaks I'd like to fix, but I got the main one. This is what I've done with the mast, which I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the leaks. We'll find out next time it rains, but um, yeah. All right, a couple of things that I want to say before I finish the video is my plan for the boat so far. This might change down the track, but for now, I'm just trying to get it into living condition because I'm going to be using it as a house, as cheap accommodation, because I've actually got to move in um, this weekend. By the end of this weekend, I'll be fully out of my old house. So I'm just trying to get all the leaks patched up so that I can bring my stuff in here without it all getting wet and I can start furnishing the place and just doing inside improvements for now. Down the track, when I get a couple more dollars in the account, I'll be able to do some bigger investments into getting her to a point where I can take her out into the ocean. All right, so I'm also new to the world of renovating sailing boats. So I'm gonna get things wrong. I'm gonna do things incorrectly. So don't take it as a tutorial. This is just my journey on learning how to fix up an old sailing boat. All right, now, Boat terminology, I'm going to learn some because obviously if I'm going to be living on a sailboat, I've got to play the part. Thanks for all the support in the previous video. If you guys want to see me do anything or you have any advice to give me, please let me know in the comments. And if you have enjoyed the journey so far, subscribe and like the video. Help me out and uh, all right, I'll see you in the next one.